in this world, I always tell people you don't know who your friends are until you need something. You know, friends are, sometimes we use that word loosely like we use love. And we don't know who our friends are until we need something. And I needed something desperately. And I didn't so much need it for myself, but I needed it for other people because in my world I live for other people. And so I had young women from every job I ever worked at, even when I was 20, to like show up for me in a way that brings me to tears, you know, whenever I think about it. Because I knew, you know, that we were cool, but I didn't know we were ride or die. <laughs> Literally, because that's what a friend does. A friend will jump in front of a bus to try to save you and not wonder if the bus is going to hit them. And so, you know, all of my friends, you know, all of the ladies that were coaching, they, they, they were like there for me all the way. And on those days, I didn't think we were going to make it. They would call me up and say, oh, no, uh -uh, I got this. Okay, well, Everybody, even, even the, our board. So I want to thank you all for coming and showing up because there is like a million things happening today. <laughs> and you guys got up early. And you came to celebrate what we're going to do. And so you have my word that we will not let you down. We're not going to just open that house for these young ladies, but we're going to show them and mirror who we should be and what we should be. Because when we go out in public, we don't know who's watching us. We're going to teach them soft skills. We're going to teach them hard skills. Our goal is to touch 50 to 100 lives this year. And we cannot do it. We cannot do it without them. I want to give her a special thanks to Latoya Smith. Now, I know that she, you know, I knew she was powerful, but I didn't know how powerful. She raised for us more than we raised last year and last year as well. We had a National Council of Negro Women who adopted us. Yesterday I went to a meeting and I was thinking in my head, you know, sometimes the devil work on you. And I think, oh, I'm just a tired, I gotta go see the people. And when I got there, I tell you that it works product, y'all should talk to Charmaine because I was drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it works, it works, donated to us a thousand dollars. Amen. But she blessed us in more ways than one. She let us use the airport so that we could have our little uh, gathering for take a girl to lunch. She had us to donate. She had people to donate. She was also she was also one of our co-chairs. It was so many people who did such great things. Sharon and Murphy Williams. I mean, it was just people who did great things. So if I don't call your name, your name. Just, just don't, you know, just put it on my heart. Ohio <laughs> Savings Bank, oh my goodness. They just loved us so much, I was amazed. They were our largest contributor. We had Third Federal, we had Huntington, you know, Rashonda Smith, is, did Rashonda get here yet? Rashonda sent her aunties to work. Okay? <laughs> so, those of you who have shown us love, those that are here, those that are not here, just know that Bessie Angel is extraordinarily grateful. The land bank donated us one house. Amen. They're going to donate us another house. Amen. They got Come on. Come on. Come on. So, if you, you know, there are people who are here that have not missed the walk. So, if you have not missed the walk, just raise your hand. I just thank you, I just thank you, I just thank you. You know, whenever you start thanking people, you always miss some folks. So just know that I love you all. Little Miss Naomi, it's her birthday. And she don't even care that we keep doing this on her birthday. And she, and she traveled all the way from Maryland. Wow. And so, you know, thank you to Channel 5, thank you to Channel 3. Thank you to everybody that has ever donated. Check our website out. We have some awesome contractors, even electricians. Amen. Amen. So check out our website. 
There's some great recommendations for people. It'll be on there like June 15th, because I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> but I, I just love you. And so welcome. So then, we have a lady who don't know us from Adam. <laughs> we call people who help us our wings. We're going to have to figure out. We gave um, picture frames with, with uh, awards last year. But we got so many wings now. And we're going to have to figure out how to honor them. But this young lady is going to stretch you out so that we can start our walk. And I would appreciate it if all the chairs would start later so that Audrey can interview you, talk to you um, before you leave. But I um, I got a quick client. Oh, yeah, this that's is my, So hi, dear. You know, I usually don't call unless somebody hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> but this has been great. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Do your thing, girl. Music maestro. One more thing. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, we have the senator here. All right. Wow. Oh, yeah, anyway. Samson was my bank teller for years, and she she's the one who turned me on to this program. And I thank her for that because without where is Tam? There she is. Without her sharing this information, I never would have heard about this. You know, the state of Columbus has been very unkind to programs like this. We keep cutting funds for programs that are so important and so necessary. And without programs like this, our young women, when they do age out, have nowhere to go. Opiate drug crisis. They get excited when they hear things like this. You know, the human trafficking, they get excited when they hear things like this. These are the types of programs that turn bad programs around and turn it into good. So I want to thank you for all that you do. Keep up the good work. Know you have a friend in Columbus. You have a lot of them, actually. Thank you. Award and the Volunteer of the Year. Award. All right. All right, let's get this. 